created the sun is Allah Almighty who created the moon is Allah Almighty who runs the rivers and lakes is Allah Almighty who runs the clouds full of rain is Allah Almighty الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنني أنا الله لا إله إلا أنا فاعبدني وأقيم الصلاة لذكري بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Meaning may the peace, mercy and the blessings of Allah Almighty be upon all of you. Welcome to the another episode of Know Your Lord. In the last session, we dealt with two important questions and that is, why do we know our Lord and how do we know our Lord? And we dealt it with detail in terms of understanding the importance of knowing Almighty God and also to fulfill the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who told us to know Him as a command. We need to know Him. And also we dealt with the second question that is how do we know Him with two essential things that is number one the creation and number two the revelation. These are the two things that we need to know Allah Almighty. In this session, we shall discuss about the meaning of testimony of faith, shahada, and the conditions of shahada, the conditions of testimony of faith. We know that the most important thing for a person is to believe and to testify that there is no God except Allah. This in Arabic called as Shahada and testimony in English. This is the most important act of a person that he recites La ilaha illallah that he testifies, he acknowledges there is no God except Allah Almighty. We know there are two concepts that are attached with the testimony of faith. Number one is the denial and number two is the affirmation. The denial, the kalima, the shahada, the testimony begins with la ilaha, there is no God. What do we mean by this? What do we mean when we say that we deny? gods we mean that we deny the entire creation to be god we deny this creation of the past the present and the future to be god we deny any prophet to be god we deny any saint or angel to be god we deny the ideal the idols to be god we deny the entire creation to be god this is the strongest denial that we utter when we say la ilaha this is a denial of faith in all the rest of the creatures who is the creation the second is the affirmation we say la ilaha that is the denial and illallah that is the affirmation illallah is the strongest affirmation that we made by which we say, in the past, there is no God except Allah. In the present, there is no God except Allah. In the future, there is no God except Allah. So this is the strongest declaration. This is the strongest confirmation that there is no God except Allah Almighty. This affirmation makes a person a believer. And the denial of all the other gods makes a person a believer. So the shahada, the testimony 
is la ilaha illallah that we deny all the demigods all the gods except allah so we accept only allah to be worthy of worship and we bear witness that there is no god except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so these are the two concepts of the testimony of faith that we deny all the existence of other gods and we accept only allah to be a god who is worthy of worship we know that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said qulu la ilaha illallah tuflihu whoever says la ilaha illallah he will be successful we know that the person who reads this shahada this statement this powerful statement is a person who is a believer now to make our shahada meaningful to make it to a level of success what we need to do is to comply the conditions that it has and that we need to fulfill for example if shahada is the key the ridges of the key are the conditions of shahada if you have the wrong key if you have the wrong key if you have the key with the wrong ridges you will never be able to open the door if you have the right ridges of the key then you will be able to open the door similarly if we have the shahada without the conditions if we have the testimony of faith this declaration this statement without the conditions of shahada then it would not make sense because even the hypocrites even the hypocrites of the time of muhammad peace be upon him they also said la ilaha illallah does that make them a true believer no allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah nisa surah number 4 ayat number 145 that the hypocrites will be in the lowest depths of the hell fire but they recited the this shahada so what made them fail in their attempt in their approach they did not believe in actually the conditions of shahada so every key has ridges if you have the right ridges you will be able to use that key so the key is shahada and the ridges are the conditions of shahada so that we may understand the real meaning of shahada and we may take the complete benefit the complete fruits from the shahada inshallah in the coming minutes we shall discuss about the conditions of shahada with an objective that we may inshallah comprehend them understand them and practice them so that we may be able inshallah with the mercy of allah be able to open the key of success the first and foremost condition of shahada is al ilm the knowledge without knowledge there is no shahada then the knowledge is the fundamental condition is the primary condition that makes a person believer in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if a person if a person does not know what he is reciting then what kind of benefit that this shahada this statement will make that person it will not bring any benefit for a person who recites without any knowledge so the first and primary condition of shahada is ilm the knowledge knowledge makes a person qualifies to get the fruits from shahada and this is so rational so logical alhamdulillah because islam is a religion for those who think islam is a religion for the people to ponder upon people who wants to live a meaningful life allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he invites them to believe in him and that is the reason knowledge makes a person understand what he is testifying for on whom he is trying to believe if a person lived a life of 60 years in the disbelief in believing wrong gods now he wants to come back 
he got the knowledge he got the knowledge and he wants to come back and testify that there is no god except allah he must know what he is reciting so knowledge is the first condition of shahada the second condition of shahada is certainty is yaqeen and yaqeen certainty is the opposite of doubt when you acknowledge it with the knowledge you must be certain enough to testify to bear witness that la ilaha illallah there is no god except allah you are certain about it you have got no doubt in your hearts you you have got no doubt whatsoever in testifying this testimony of faith la ilaha illallah there is no god except allah this is very important because if you have knowledge and you're not certain about it which means that you might be misguided any time there is a clear opportunity and possibility that you will be disconnected with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you will be gone away from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you will defy this testimony which you have based it upon knowledge so you need to make sure that the testimony that you are bearing witness with that is la ilaha illallah you must be certain on what you have got the knowledge so certainty is the second condition of shahada and this is the certainty which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about in the glorious quran through the knowledge we move on to the certainty the third condition that we need to fulfill in terms of shahada the testimony of faith is the acceptance the acceptance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in terms of everything if we have accepted allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be our god then we would do anything what he commands us we will discuss this in detail when we come back from the a short break take care and we'll be right back welcome back to the program know your lord we were discussing about the conditions of testimony of faith the conditions of shahada before the break we talked about the first condition is the knowledge that you need to have when you are testifying that there is no god except allah and you need to have that knowledge with certainty with no doubt whatsoever that you are believing that there is no god except allah and we talked about the acceptance which is the third condition of shahada acceptance calls our attention towards the action when we know that there is no god except allah when we are certain that there is no god except allah now is the time that we accept and embrace what all commands that he gives what all prohibitions that he says we need to abandon them what all commands that he gives we need to abide by it throughout our lives this is called acceptance of shahada we need to accept even though even though we do not like it we need to accept what all our lord commands us and this is what it means the acceptance of shahada moreover moreover our relationship between allah and us is master and slave what is the relationship between the master and slave the master is the owner of that slave he can command anything and the slave has to listen we'll take a small example like an employment if we get employed somewhere from 9 to 6 we have to obey we have to comply we have to accept all the things which the employer commands us to do allah owns us 24 by 7 my brothers and sisters allah is the owner of everything when we accept allah subhanahu wa taala it means that we accept anything and everything what he says and we will abandon 
we will prohibit we will forget about those things which he has prohibited this is the real meaning of the acceptance of shahada so this is the third condition of shahada of testimony of faith that is the acceptance the fourth condition of shahada is we accept this testimony we accept this shahada with humility we are not proud we are not boasting we are not doing a favor on anybody by testifying that there is no god except allah we have the knowledge of it backed up with certainty we know for sure that we need to accept him in at any point this acceptance must be done with humility you need to behave and humble yourself as a slave does the slave he does anything and everything and he does it with complete humility to his lord to his master and this is what the condition al inqiyad means humility you basically accept allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it is the lord he is the lord who deserves to be worshiped and you whether you accept it or not are the slaves of allah now that you have done this shahada which is meaningful you have got the knowledge that you have recited a testimony of faith you have testified that there is no god except allah based on your knowledge you're certain about it you have accepted it now what you need to do is to humble yourself and accept allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with complete humility with inqiyad show yourself act in the heart in the mind in the tongue on on your body that you are the slave of allah you are the slave of allah so humility humility is the 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 condition of shahada of the testimony of faith the next condition of shahada is was sidq with truthfulness allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he loves a person who is truthful allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he loves a person who is truthful and when he is truthful in shahada in testifying that there is no god except allah this person will never be disloyal to his lord he will never be dishonest to his lord he will never corrupt his belief in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will always be truthful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this shahada must be done based on the truthfulness of that person he should be truly understanding it certainly with acceptance in humility he must he must accept it as true in terms of everything so truthfulness is the condition of shahada which makes a person his shahada more meaningful and fruitful the next condition of shahada is sincerity islam my brothers and sisters is all about sincerity islam is all about sincerity and if you are sincere to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while testifying this testimony this shahada la ilaha illallah you are sincere you will never ever bow down you will never ever worship anyone except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your ibadah will be only and only for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah an'am surah number 6 ayat number 162 qul say to them inna most certainly salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alamin my living my dying my prayer my sacrifice everything is for allah the lord of the worlds the person who testifies this must have that sincerity must acknowledge this shahada this testimony with complete sincerity that there is no god except allah and i will always humble myself to to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i will always worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i will never bow down to a grave or to a saint or to a prophet or to an angel 
I will never put my forehead on the ground for anybody except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the person who sincerely accept the shahada. He is the person who knows that there is no one worthy of worship, worthy of my servitude except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no one who can help me in the times of my need. There is no one who can support me. There is no one who can look after me in all my needs except Allah. So make sure that your shahada is sincere. So we talked about the knowledge. We talked about the certainty that we need to have in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to have the acceptance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in shahada. We need to make sure that we do it with inqiyad, with humility. We need to make sure that we do it with truthfulness. And we need to make sure that it goes with complete sincerity, without any pollution in between, without polluting your shahada. You need to make sure that you actually have complete sincerity towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The next condition of shahada, of testimony, of faith is the denial. You as a person who testifies this testimony, this shahada, confirms that there is no God worthy of worship. There is no person, there is no deity, there is no prophet, there is no angel, there is no creature who is worthy of worship. You deny everything in the strongest of terms. Also, the denial of everything which Allah does not like. Anything which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibits, you deny that. You abandon that. And that is how you strengthen your shahada. Denial of every other God and denial of all the prohibitions which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made. The last and the final condition of shahada is the adherence. This calls out for an action. When you know when you have the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you know that there is no God worthy of worship, when you have certain, when you are certain about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being the only God worthy of worship, when you have accepted Him, when you have accepted Him in full humility, when you are truthful in saying, in believing in your heart and in your actions, when you are sincere in what you are saying, in what you are bearing witness to, in what you are acknowledging, you are sincere. And you have denied all the rest of the gods, all the demigods, and you have denied all the commands of prohibitions given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you have denied all these things, the last thing which is left for you as a condition of shahada, is that adherence of all that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. When you testify, you need to comply with your testimony. When you testify, you have acknowledged that you will abide your life, you will live your life as per the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the definition of a Muslim. A Muslim is the one who submits himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And submission must be of total the submission must be of totality. It must be that you have to adhere, you have to comply, you have to follow, you have to obey all what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran and all what Muhammad peace be upon him has given as a teaching. So these are the conditions of shahada, the testimony of faith in order to make our key usable for us, meaningful for us and worthwhile. We need to comply with all these conditions that we discussed and that is knowledge, certainty, acceptance, acceptance with humility, with truthfulness, with sincerity, with complete denial of everything and with the humbleness with the adherence, with the obedience. These are the conditions that will make our shahada 
that is the key inshallah with the mercy of Allah open the door of heaven with this we conclude this episode that is the testimony of faith and conditions of shahada in the next episode we shall talk about the meaning of tawheed that is oneness of almighty god its importance and its categories till then do remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and strive to follow all these conditions so that we may make our testimony of faith fruitful and meaningful with this we end this episode wa akhiru dawana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin who created the moon? He's Allah Almighty. Who runs the rivers and lakes? He's Allah Almighty. Who runs the clouds full of rain? He's Allah Almighty. Who forgives us when we commit many sins? Allah Almighty. Who looks down on us? Tell me who he is. Allah Almighty. And when you meet Allah, you should be so proud. And then you shouted to him out loud.